Hey YouTube, this is Rose, Miss Pertain to Rose. I want to talk about my truck today. Oops, sorry about my big thumb gang in the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I've been trying to get my truck ready for my trip. You know, I'm going to be out there doing my whole hashtag YouTube co-op. <coughs> so I take my truck in. They're doing an overhaul on it. It's supposed to be doing the hub centers. Find out it's not really the sub centers, uh, hub centers. I needed uh, the whole U-joint, like the whole assembly. So they get that done. Not a big problem. I thought, okay, that's going to be a few hundred dollars, but that's okay. I'm just glad it's done out of the way. And they get searching around. Uh, guess what? My steering rod is loose. So they get in there to see if they can't fix it, and it needed replaced. So one thing after another, one thing after another, that all came to a little over $1,000. 1030 or something. <laughs> and my truck's still making noise. So, they at first they think it's the drive shaft. Just can't order a drive shaft right now. You can't get parts in. So then they're talking about, well, maybe we have to, you know, get one fabricated. That's going to cost a pretty pay. Thankful, I am so thankful for Cody Washburn up here on, uh, here I got his card. Let me see if I can't pull it up for you. He's here in Burlington, Iowa. It's Washburn Repairs. Let me see if I can show you this. Washburn Repairs. So thankful for him. That he really thought out the issue and tried to give it some thought. Oh my, I forgot to turn off my, I forgot to turn off my, or turn on my do not disturb. <laughs> I am so thankful for this gentleman. He really thought it out and, you know, what he could do to help me. And for whatever reason, he decided to check the differential. Now, he had already done an alignment and all that and did everything else he had to do. Did all my fluids, checked all my pressures. Like, he checked everything. But he checked the differential. Thank God he found that was the issue. It wasn't, it's still expensive, but it wasn't the drive shaft. When he realized what it was, I mean, he really thought it out, took some time with my truck. I truly appreciate him because if that would have went out on the road, I would have been really upset or even the drive shaft, any of them. If I would have went out, it would have cost me an arm and a leg. So I truly, truly appreciate you, Cody, if you're watching. I, this is a shout out to my mechanic. It's still going to cost me a pretty penny. Uh, I think total... Well, it'll be like another 1500 for the differential for my truck. Total is going to cost me like 2500 Something like that. <laughs> it's going to be an unbelievable amount. But I'm so proud of him. Like, he really, really spent days just going over every little tiny thing in my truck. Making sure that I was going to be safe on the road. Ah, I truly appreciate it. It was expensive. It's been, and he's still working on it. So, to get the differential, it's the same thing as not being able to get the parts. I'm still waiting, but that's okay. We'll find out on Thursday if he can get me one, and if he can get it in. So, hopefully things will still, still go well, and I'll get on my trip and be able to go do my hashtag go up, YouTube co up. I'm so excited. I, I'm really, like, I'm half-packed already. Basically, all I got to do is launder my clothes and get them packed. Everything else is packed for my trip. I'm 
just really, really ready, ready, ready to go. I can't wait. And then while I'm up north because of the winter, um, my truck is not insulated like, you know, a house. So I'll be staying with friends and families while I'm up north. And then once I go south, I'm going to be living in my truck. We're going to see how it goes. They have no seams down there. So I might have to get some mosquito netting. <laughs> I don't want to get fed up. Although no seams are small enough to go through. There's little holes, but we'll, I'll figure something out. <laughs> I can't wait. I am so excited. That's all I've been uh, talking about. So hopefully on my way back from Florida, I will be heading up Georgia. Hopefully I get to see you, J-Dub Vlogs. I want to head over towards Texas. Uh, or Oklahoma, I think it's Texas area though, I want to go over and hopefully I'll get to see the mogul, and then I want to head up towards Kansas, I got friends in Kansas, and Brenda's Grappity Duda is in Kansas, so let me know what area you're in, uh, I'm going to be traveling all through, uh, hopefully I might even get over to North Carolina, I'm trying to Get around while I can and visit some other YouTubers. Maybe do a video with them. You know, what they do. Brenda, if you want to go dumpster diving, I'm all in. Make sure you comment, like, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. I could really, really use it. And share my video. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. You're going to see a lot of fun stuff coming up. I know it's been slow because I've been having truck issues. <laughs> I will get back to you. Um, what else? There was something else. Oh, I don't even remember. I forgot to write my notes. Okay. Well, I love you, YouTube. Have a beautiful day. See you later. Bye.